Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brushes and Bunnies and in this video, I'm going to show you how I draw the male face. The materials that I used for this tutorial are of course a sketchbook, my mechanical pencil, an eraser, and a black fineliner that is size 0.05. As always, you can find all of the materials down below in the video description. For this tutorial, I'll be showing you the front-facing view, the three-quarter view, and the profile view. In all three cases, I'll show you how I structure my guidelines, and I'll also talk about how I basically build the face with these sort of geometric shapes, and basically all that you learn within this video can be applied for female faces as well. Let's start off with the front-facing view. I will always start off with a circle, and from the circle, I will basically build all of my guidelines from. In the case of the front-facing view, the most important step is to slice off the sides of the circle. So just draw a line uh, from the sides, like what I'm doing now. And using these lines, you can then split the circle into one-thirds. This one-third section will also determine the size of where you want to put the jawline or the chin. Of course, this is sort of just standard proportions, but if you wanted to create some unique characters, you could, of course, kind of exaggerate some of these uh, sections by making the chin longer or shaving off parts of the face so that the face is much more narrow. Now, these three or four lines that you've drawn horizontally across your face will determine where certain features will go. For example, the one at the very top is going to be the hairline, the one in the very center is going to be where the nose will appear. The one that's between the, the very top and the center um, is going to be where the eyes are going to be. And of course, the very last line is going to be where the chin ends. So you can really use these lines to help structure your face. And I feel that this method really works well for me in order to get some really good proportions. And of course, it also does help if you are drawing from reference photos, so please do take advantage of this. Check out some reference photos online and get familiar with drawing different people, different races, um, different unique features, and basically adjust your proportions as you go along. But you can use these sort of um, basic reference lines as a stepping stone to creating a face that is with proportions. In terms of the individual facial features, I am going to be, or I have already covered some of these in unique or individual video tutorials, like how to draw eyes, how to draw nose, how to draw lips. I'm of course working on others, so don't worry. I'll be releasing like a video tutorial for lips next week, but I can probably just give you a couple tips here and now for the face. I always tend to start with the nose because the nose for me is a focal point in terms of determining the size of the eyes, where the eyes will appear and also the length of the lips. So I always tend to start with the nose and from there on out, I will continue on with the eyes. The eye length is typically the same size as the width of the nose and I will start drawing the corners of the eyes first because this will align with the tips of the nostrils. And this is sort of the, the kind of guides that I always use for all of my characters. As for the lips, I will uh, start off with the corners because the corners for me align directly with the eyeballs and um, I kind of just draw roughly of where I think they will be and I typically just align it with the eyes or the irises of, of the eyes. Um, this is how I will determine the length or how wide the lips will be. But in general, if you're interested in learning how to draw these individual characteristics, then please check out my other video tutorials on my YouTube channel. Again, I'm going to continue doing much more. I just have like a nose and a eye tutorial for now, but there will be more coming. For the three quarter view and the profile view, I do use the same method with, you know, the circle and kind of um, shaving off the sides of the circle and using the the third sort of horizontal lines across the face and I use this for all three sort of angles and it does work really really well um, so I won't explain this again but I can take some time to explain what makes a male face male what are the unique characteristics that do make it a male face rather than a female face 
And at the very beginning of learning how to draw male characters, this was very difficult because I came from, you know, a background of being comfortable with drawing female faces. So I really had to differentiate between the two to, to get a, a unique kind of look. Uh, so I'm going to give you guys some of the tips that I use to draw male faces while I show you guys the three quarter view and the profile view. I believe one of the biggest differences is just the general size or shape of the head itself. For male faces, they're generally much longer, um, they're much more angular, much more pronounced in terms of the cheekbones and the brow bone, and things are just more, not necessarily boxy, but there's a lot of angles at play. While the female portraits are much softer, they use a lot more curves, a lot more softer curves around the lips, the chin, the jaw, the brows. There's just there's just a, a huge difference in that regards. Um, of course, everyone is different and there will be unique faces out there, but generally speaking, this is sort of the main differences. The, the males are much more angular and um, more pronounced while the females are much softer. Another really big giveaway for me would be the eyebrows. I know this nowadays with the trends, it's much different. Uh, you know, with female trends, with having thicker eyebrows, this is sort of the end thing for, for girls. And um, some guys also, you know, they, they pluck their eyebrows or they like them uh, manicured. But generally speaking, kind of the stereotypical differences between female and male are the eyebrows. For males, they're much more unkept. They're much thicker, bushier, and they just, yeah, that's sort of the, the look for a kind of a typical masculine face and for females you of course got the thinner eyebrows maybe there's a more pronounced arch or arc I don't know how you say that uh, so there are typical there are little minor differences that will either give your character a more feminine look or a more masculine look and the eyebrows is a huge giveaway Another really important factor for me are in regards to the eyes. So for both genders, I do like to differentiate the shape a little bit more. For females, I do like to use a more oval shape and something that is whiter and has longer, thicker lashes. And it's just it just looks a little bit more feminine in that regards. And for male eyes, I do like to change the shape up a bit so that it's more rectangular. The eyes for males are also a little bit... Um, narrower i guess you can say i mean that's just the way i like to draw them because i i find that attractive in guys when they have narrow eyes for some reason i don't really know why but i also like to add a little bit of a lash to their eyes as well uh for for guys you want to be careful because you don't want to look like they have mascara on so you want to add at least a natural lash but keep them short and don't you know, draw them so thick either. So these subtle differences will definitely help you uh, distinguish between the two genders. There are of course so many more differences such as, you know, the nose or the lips or the cheekbones. There's a lot of things you can get into detail regarding the differences between female and male faces. And I think I'm actually going to do a video uh, sometime during this month about it and just talk about the key differences and how you can differentiate uh, between the two genders. I think this is a pretty interesting topic actually and would be kind of fun to deep dive into it. So let me know down below in the video comment or in the comments if you're interested in seeing a video about this topic topic in general. If you would like to know more or require some more help on how to draw male faces, I will be posting some helpful step-by-step -step guides with photo references up on my Patreon. This will only be av available to my Patreons, of course, and they will be downloadable so you guys can download it and put it on your computer and use it whenever you need any sort of help to drawing a male face. Of course, all of my links, including my Patreon, are down below in my video description, so if you're interested, do check it out. And as a reminder, today is the last day where you can sign up for the giveaway or enter for the giveaway. Uh, today is April 8th, and it is the last day. I will be announcing the giveaway winner on April 15th, so stay tuned for that. I'm so excited to select someone and do a video and ship it to you. I really love doing giveaways. It's a lot, a lot of fun. And as a friendly reminder, I am live streaming every single Saturday at 3 p.m. Central European time. I am currently drawing my subscribers live on this live stream. So if you want to submit your selfie, do so by going to Instagram and using the hashtag, hashtag bunny draws me. The instructions are down below in the video description as well if you want to know more. Without further ado, I hope you guys like this tutorial. And yeah, I want to wish you a lovely day and keep drawing and never give up. 
bye